Good morning, welcome back to TV8 Summit Sunrise. My name is Tyler Easton, thanks for joining us. We're talking my favorite subject here this morning. We're talking disc golf with Jeff. How are you, Jeff? Doing good this morning. Excellent, so Jeff opened up a shop here in town just specifically dedicated to disc golf. So give us a little background on that. How did that happen? How did that idea come about? Sure, so uh, me and my friend Joe Funderberg were actually playing disc golf. He got me into the sport and we're playing a lot and having fun and one night we were talking about, you know, we should actually open the store because there's very few places you can buy stuff for it. So it's like, all right, we kind of spent the next six, eight months kind of planning it, figuring out where we do it, what we'd carry, how we go about it. We opened the store and we're actually the only dedicated disc golf store in the county. Love it, beautiful. And as somebody that plays disc golf as an avid golfer, I, I love seeing this. Um, for people that haven't been playing their whole life, give us kind of a quick rundown of what the sport is. Sure, so basically what you're doing is you're taking discs like these we've got up here, and you're actually going out to tee pads, kind of, you know, oftentimes in the woods or on a course somewhere, and you're throwing the disc and you're trying to get it into a basket. And it's similar to golf in the way that there's a par. So it's like, all right, the average course is gonna take three shots to get into the basket. And instead of a hole in the ground, there's actually a basket there that has got chains on it. So when the disc hits the chains, it drops in and that counts. And then, you know, also similarly, if you get it in one lesson par, it's a birdie, one over, it's a bogey. So there's some similarities to golf. Uh, one of the other things that's great about it is it's really good exercise. You get out, you're walking, you're hanging out with friends. It's just a lot of fun. It's what I figure is about two, three miles every time you go out, give or take. Does seem about right? Yeah, it depends on the course. You've got some smaller courses like the, uh, the Family 12 at Dillon. It's a nice beginner friendly course. It's not that long, pretty easy. You can do that in like 45 minutes. And you've got courses like A Basin, that's probably three miles and up and down a mountain and <laughs> through trees. And so you've got a little bit of everything. You can go for an easy course or a longer course. Yeah, it's funny. We went all the way out to Hawaii, to Princeville. They have this course on the north side of um, Kauai there. We thought it was going to be this legendary course. And all we could take away from it is how excited we were to come back and play our courses in Southern <laughs> County because we've got the A Basin course. We've got the Dillon course, the, the Dillon up top with all the views and everything oh, you yeah. see. And, a basin course through the wooded holes. I mean, we have world class, some of the best disc golf courses in the world, all right here in the county. Very true. In the Dillon course, the full 18 course, that's an amazing course. It's got the best views of any course I've ever been at. And when we travel and do tournaments or other places, you just go, yeah, you know, my home course is Dillon. People are like, really? <laughs> I'm like, no, oh, I haven't thought about that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty fortunate here. So let's talk about the actual products that people are going to need to get into this sport. What's a beginner need to get? What do you have for more of the advanced folks? What do you have for people that are learning? Very good question. So the only thing you really need to get started is three discs. You know, we recommend a putter, a mid-range, and a driver. And they're just different types of discs. So a putter is one that you're going to use when you're close by, like that guy right there. And then you're going to have a, a mid-range disc that you're gonna use when you're a little further away from the basket. And then your driver is when you're first teeing off. Fast. You're gonna throw that one, yeah. Because your average distance is like two to 300 feet for a basket. So you start off with your driver disc and then you get a little close. You're like, all right, well, I'm not close enough for my putter, but I'm too close for my driver. You bring out that mid range. And then you don't really need anything else for that as a beginner, but it's nice to have a bag to kind of carry your stuff around because also, you know, some of these courses take a little bit. So it's nice to have something like, you know, a pocket here for a water bottle or something to drink. and Dog leash, rain jacket, your speaker. I mean, there's all exactly. kinds of things. It fills itself up very quickly. Snacks. <laughs> yeah. So there's lots of things you want to bring. And then as you get better, you want to be getting into your distance drivers, your more faster speed discs, because discs actually have a wide range in speed. And that has a lot to do with how good you are, how fast you can spin it quick you snap that wrist. Yep. So, so that's gonna be my last question I think I have is for people that have maybe gotten into the sport, they have their baseline, they've kind of hit a plateau, they're trying to get to a higher level. Do you guys offer lessons? Yes, we do. We actually offer lessons, private lessons for anything you want. We've got putting clinics, driving clinics, learning how to do your forehand, learning how to do your backhand. And that can be anywhere from a beginner all the way up to somebody who's just not getting any better and they need somebody to help point out what's going on. Something and, I know a lot about. <laughs> It's a tough sport because it takes a lot of practice and just determination. But at the same point, it's nice not to take it too seriously. Just go out and have fun and play. You know, and that's kind of the, the ultimate point of why you do it. You don't even have to be throwing to go out there and have the experience to be out there, spend a little time amongst the trees out there. It's basically a hike with an activity associated with it. 
Exactly. And you know, some of the other things we carry for people who may not play but still kind of want to do it, we've got disc dyeing stuff. So you can actually, if there's an artist in you, you can dye your discs. We also have glow in the dark discs because that's a new thing that's getting more popular is to go play after dark and you need to light up the basket and you need to be able to find your disc. And we'll get one last plug in with that. There is a Summit County disc page. There's a, on Facebook, on social media, there's a Summit County disc golf page where they do LED 12 round holes over in Dillon, some really cool activities like that. So be sure to check that out to find out more of the community and get involved. In the meantime, Jeff, Joe, we really appreciate you guys coming by. Great opportunity to get into the sport. Stop by, see the boys. It's right over there at the base of the wilderness, right there as you turn on to Ryan Gulch Road. There's the address punched up on the screen from AMAX. We appreciate you. Be sure to stop by, see the boys. Is there a website they can find you at? Yeah, or www.wearediskin.com. Beautiful. We hope to join you out on the course sometime soon. In the meantime, my name is Tyler. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.